In this video, we'll find the oxidation number for the chromium here, the Cr, in the Cr2O3, chromium-3 oxide. We know that if we add the oxidation numbers up for each element in Cr2O3, it's going to equal zero. We also know that oxygen is normally a minus two. There are a few exceptions. But here it's bonded to a metal. It's going to be minus two. So at this point, we know three times minus two, that would give us a minus six. So two times something would give us a plus six, and that would cancel out our minus six. Two times plus three, that would give us six. So if we added the six here and the minus six, that would give us a total of zero. So that's one way to do it. The other way is we know that everything adds up to zero. So we could say chromium, we don't know what that is. Let's call it X and we have two chromiums plus oxygen is minus two, but we have three of those. So we could add, this is minus six. So we could add plus six to both sides. That would cancel this out. Two X equals plus six. Divide both sides by two. X equals plus three. And that's the oxidation number on chromium, which is what we found out before and why it's called chromium three oxide. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for chromium three oxide, Cr2O3. And thanks for watching.